Hey, what's up, my guys, and welcome back to Scrap Kick. Today, we're going to be looking at a creation I started in a stream, I do believe. This is the, as I've been calling it, the S-Tank or the Stridswagen. This is actually based on the real-life one, and when I say based off of, I don't mean it is meant to completely recreate it, but the concept is inspired by it. So I do think the camel turned out well. It's part of the reason I wanted to start so far back so you get a chance to actually look at it. So with the dev blog 15, there is talk about the explosive barrels and the possibility that they will be able to detonate on impact. So either being dropped from a certain height or thrown at a certain distance, hitting with a certain amount of speed and is what I believe is gonna happen. And honestly, I can't consider this creation finished until we know how the explosive barrels work because that is one of the major components of how this works. This is meant to be a tank that will be able to shoot explosive tipped warheads. This is kind of the main system that this works on. A quick walk around just to see what it looks like. Go ahead and hop into the driver's seat. Now this works on the normal WASD tank controls that I've always used. And unfortunately, due to how complex this cannon is with all the pistons it uses, I had to forfeit some of my suspension. Instead, it has a rigid suspension, which I'm going to talk about here in a second when it comes to aiming because it does have some influence on that as well. So going first person, you have just a basic site. I didn't go all too detailed with the site. And you also have a uh, ready fire light. So that tells you when the gun is ready to fire. Which brings us to the auto loader. This has a auto loader in it. All my other tanks had a manual loading mechanism. Um, I usually couldn't put an auto loader in them because it needed for the all of the bullets to be basically bouncing around inside the gun but with the ability to decouple objects with the spud gun you can just make a clip of them here and these barrels on the front are my kind of stand-in for the explosive barrels that are going to be coming in the future um, I'm going under the assumption that they are rounded so they only have connection on the top and the bottom. If they don't, I can just as easily do something kind of like this where they're only on every other. So it would bring me down from what? Seven to four rounds. If they have a square hitbox, they'll be four. If they have a rounded hitbox, they'll be seven rounds capable in this craft. Go ahead and shut that. So from the seat noise, can you see your sight, your ready light? You can also look back and see how many rounds you have in your clip. Unfortunately, you can't really tell if there's one in the chamber or not without firing it. So let's get back out here. If you press one, it cycles the firing mechanism, which is going to restart the reloading process. So you can see the round just went through the chamber. Two lifts up the entire tank. This is a feature that is on the Stridswagen, the actual one in real life. Um, it's a bit different how it works. Mine just use a rotating bearing towards the back. There's a lot of weight on the rear of this tank, as you can see all the steel, which helps the actual pivot process. This is something that I'd want to redo in the tank. Uh, just the fact that it has to work on a balance system, just because there is so much weight. You can see it bouncing every once in a while because those bearings can't handle it, even though there are two sets there's one set over here there's one set right down there there's one set right down there it still is way too much for those bearings to hold go ahead and aim up press one to fire and that was a dud unfortunately now that is going to be a problem if the explosive warheads when they come in it, there's going to be a lot of testing need to be done before you can really weaponize those but duds are one of the things that you can't really have um, this cannon, from what I can tell, works just fine if you shoot shortly after reloading. If you let the if you let the bullet set for too long in the cannon, it starts to 
weird out a little bit. So that was our third round shot. Fourth round. And you can't actually hold the firing mechanism. There are a bunch of safety logic, I should say. There's a bunch of logic that prevents you from firing when it's not ready. There is another dud. And that one came out the bottom of the chassis. That's five, I think. That's six. And that should be seven. Go in here. Yep. So that is the tank itself. There are some issues like the gun. Gun is really good. It's almost perfect. Not quite there. The aiming can be redone. It needs to be because using having to have a balance system on the back is just not worth it. So let's see if I can find my gun. There it is. So this is the gun that is in the actual tank. There we go. Can show you how this works. So when you're in your seat up here up front, you pop the hatch, you put in your round of cardboard, you put the initial bolts. Now this can work with just these, or if you want, you can just put the uh, stand-in explosive warheads in the front as well. And when you come back, make sure this is hooked up. Yes, this is. You press your fire button, it shoots, and it starts to reload. When you do the reload, the actual, um, I don't know what you want to call this, the uh, block, let's call it, lifts up. The magazine gets pushed in, drops one of the bullets, the magazine retracts, the bolt drops, and then the actual firing pin of sorts pushes forward clears the actual shell of the bolt because that was an issue the bullets were trying to leave through the bolt pushes it past it and then you're ready to fire again now fire this will shoot on a full auto fire if you just hold it with a switch which is why i was saying there are mechanisms in place to ensure this fires safely now duds are still an issue still happen and I think it's just the complexity of the craft. This small gun rarely, if ever, duds. It's It does happen, but there's no real cause. It's just the game's physics. I'm just going to just let it go here. Let it finish up. There we go, that is the end of it. It will keep working as if it has rounds in it just because of how this plate works and it has to cycle. Uh, currently, there is no way to tell if the gun is empty or not. That's something that could be done a little bit better. But just looking at this logic that keeps this gun running, there's even logic down here. Which is what tells the gun when it should fire, how long it should fire. And allows all the safety precautions to be there to hopefully prevent the gun from malfunctioning. Because when there are, if the, if we can put explosive warheads in the cannons, duds, malfunctions could mean destroying your own craft. So you're going to have to take a lot of safety precautions for that. So let me see if I can get up here. Um, if you're asking why there's pillows, I thought it'd be kind of cool to break up the, or break up just the, rough corners and edges if you actually look at the real life Stridswagen those are actually uh, gas canisters or fuel canisters there we go let's go ahead and open this up load up your gun put your fake warheads on here And 
aim up a little bit, which the sight can't aim that far that easily. So you might have to just do a third person aiming, fortunately. Cycle the reload. And then wait for the light. Yep, ready to fire. Fire. Wait for the light. Fire. That appears to be a dud, and we appear to have jammed the gun. Hmm. So the bolt actually, or the firing pin, as I've been calling it, went past the shell itself. Now there's still one in the chamber. There we go, we cleared that now. Now we should be able to reload. Which is something I didn't mention. There is an actual uh, evacuation port in the back, which is what the bolt, or this round came out of. Intended just so that if there is something lodged in the chamber, when the firing pin comes back, it should shoot it out the back. Um, but like I said before, until the explosive canisters, explosive barrels come out, I really don't know how they're going to function, and this is just off of what I think will happen. I This could just not work at all. It could work perfectly. We could have no issues whatsoever, or I could have to just throw this whole thing away. But anyway, I do really like it. I do really enjoy it, especially that seven round auto loader. Or technically, it's full auto. You can just hold it. It's just slow to do so. But I'm going to end it here. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. Enjoy the channel, enjoy what I'm doing. Please subscribe, it helps a lot. And right now, shares help the channel the most. So if you do want to help the channel, please share this episode with a friend. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for coming around. And until next time, peace.